so it's one of those times where I charged my packs and I didn't fly them, so I got like three packs to kill. That's bloody cold. <laughs> and this is like nicely lit, so I'm just gonna, nothing too crazy, just smooth flying and go on a little adventure. Try and kill these packs though, so I might keep the throttle hard and do some fast diving. I don't know. Okay, see ya. So I've been going a long time without having any, like, accidents, and today we get to have our first accident in a while. And no, I don't run into a person or a car. I would never do that. <laughs> I'm always very careful, despite what people may think. I always try to respect people as I scare this lady and hit the pole that's behind me. <laughs> but I recovered pretty quickly, and uh, no harm done. My um, propeller is bent, but I'm using the HQ 3.5, 3 blade, 2.5 pitch, and they're like neon yellow, and I find that with propellers when you have those like clear gummy ones, the the, the bend a lot instead of like crack so they last you quite a while and I fly my props until they die <laughs> but yeah lately like this quad I take it a little bit more easy like I, I, don't, I don't know I'm in no rush to destroy my only working O3 and I really just I love the O3 I really do I it makes me kind of never want to fly a Vista again because <laughs> I broke so many Vistas and then went back to flying analog and then flying the O3. It's just, it's to me, this is like a totally different experience. This is what like when people describe digital and like Vistas, I, I didn't really feel like it was that great. But with the O3, it's not as good as a GoPro, but it's pretty good. And this is like nighttime. So settings at night, I'm still flying at 60 frames a second. I feel like 30 frames a second I, I don't like. Too much latency, too much blur, all the bad stuff. Once again, 120. Oh, I fought it. Um, <laughs> what a distraction. Okay, I'm on the other side of the building here. And speaking of latency, it's starting to come a bit. But the video just doesn't blur on you. It doesn't... Like with the Vista, when you would start getting out of range, it would get scary blurry. And sometimes you just, like, disconnect. You get, like, a black screen. And it wouldn't come back for a while. And by the time it come back, you destroyed your drone. But, like, I'm all the way, like, behind this building now, flying. And the uh, EP-1 Duel from Happy Model is also been like a game changer for me cuz yes the even the EP2 uh, has good range and express lrs will never fail safe on your whatever the EP2s will <laughs> and if if you're not like getting um if you're not if your way isn't blocked by anything they can go like crazy far but the moment you have buildings around you and whatever like blocking you that ep2 can just fail safe out of nowhere like pretty quickly so with these ep1 dual i feel like it matches the o3 like it just i i feel stable and connected and like here i'm giving it a bit more throttle but also with this quad like i'm flying most of the time at like 20 30 percent throttle i'm not really pushing it i'm not in a rush to destroy this thing but also getting on the other side of the building it's a little bit iffy too uh, going into traffic so another thing that mm, is frowned upon but like to me i do this with my motorcycle so in on a motorcycle it's so much more dangerous and so much more risk. I'm telling you, every time I get on my bike, 
every day in Toronto, there's like five people that try to kill you. So, all these people in cars are trying to kill people on motorcycles. And if I can survive them on my motorcycle with my life at risk, I don't feel as bad flying this 200 gram drone. And I'm always kind of paying attention and aware of where all the vehicles are. I, oh, it's also St. Patrick's Day. So I was like wondering if there's any uh, parties going on. But it was pretty quiet and desolate. There's also a lot of rain. It just finished raining. And now one of these cars, there were like a whole pile of guys blasting party music in here. So then I was like, hey guys, what's going on? And then they got mad and pulled over. They were going to come out and beat me up. Just kidding. <laughs> they just got sick of sitting in traffic, so they were going to try and go around it, but they didn't. Uh, what else? Yes, when people walk by, like when I, when I feel people are near me, like walking by me on the street, I always kind of go back with the drone and watch them from a distance and make sure that like my body is safe because it's like you're inside the drone. It's like you're not in your body. And there I am like in the corner creeping. Then uh, there's a church over here and I was like, let's go explore that a bit. But it, my face is facing the other way. I didn't turn it. So I'm flying behind myself. And this is not really lit up that well. So I play around it a little bit, but nothing super exciting. I do love nighttime, but it's also cold, wet, and damp, so I'm kind of freezing. But anything like is better than going home and taking your freshly charged packs and having to like put them at storage. I didn't want to do that. So, a couple night dives it is. But I, even this I find kind of boring. I need to find some, like, sweet spots that, like, have good, like, gaps and places to just practice moves and stuff. It's just flying these areas, you gotta be safe. Oh, I've never been really a peeping tom, but was well, is a peeping tom when you're like trying to see naked girls or something? I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to just like see what's going on, like see if anyone's having a party. St. Patrick's Day it was pretty boring. There's nothing really interesting going on. So, but it's interesting that you can even bloody do that because with uh, analog can't really see that much so it's a whole new level of like <laughs> creepiness <laughs> I don't know I don't feel like it's being creepy I, I always feel like it's explorative you know same thing with like I don't feel like it's invasive when you put a smile on people's faces it's like if, if you, you, you whip your drone at them and like charge them or something like that then that would not be right I guess but when you just kind of like drift around them and say hello most of the time it's it's cool I see some people walked by me so I was just like making sure my body is safe <laughs> you always got to make sure your body's safe I'm always afraid that like one day someone's gonna just come and smack me in the face or something and there was one time that I was flying and uh, some, like, teenagers just, like, came up near me and they, like, went, ah! Like, they screamed. And that was a little bit of a jolt. So I always make sure that, like, I'm holding my radio in my hand very tight. <laughs> radio master. And I, like, here, too, like, I want to go through this super fast. But I'm a little bit scared that, like, at the end of this, there's, like, that place and someone could open the door or something like that and I I don't want to smack into anyone even though if I did smack this into someone I don't really think it would hurt them 
it would be more like just awkward going to get it after. Like, sorry. That was me. <laughs> Playing in the playground. Yeah, I want to find like a sweet spot that has like lots of like obstacles. And like big hole, big holes <laughs> that I can explore and whip around. Like, I don't know. Oh, I did find a place on my way home that I want to go and check out. It looks pretty sweet. I want a place that just kind of has... I haven't found that, like, perfect FPV spot. I have some really good buildings that I like diving. But I, like, if if the well... Like that place that I flew at the other day that has like the indoor outdoor mall. Like if that was like abandoned or something, that would be like the perfect spot to fly. Because there's so many people and there's always security and all that, it just makes it not as enjoyable. Because it's enjoyable to fly in places where you're not supposed to or like where it might be frowned upon because it that like really gets your jollies going. But I like to find just a place that I just love to fly. Just just to have like a practice spot where I can just fly and fly and fly and get like better at things. Like he, he, I want to figure out like power loops on this drone and get all those like moves down pad and know exactly like how long and how, how much pressure has to be like put on the throttle that you're not like going way far back like here see like I threw myself way far back but then you don't do it enough and you start like dropping and hit the pole or something and uh yeah I just want to get like really proficient and be able to whip it to my liking like see like uh, like a matty flip where you don't like drift as far away Anyways, time to go home. That's a wrap. Have a good one, and thanks for joining me. Smoochy, smoochy.